This is your afternoon bulletin from the Evening Standard. I'm David Marsland. There's a warning of a significant problem with people refusing the coronavirus vaccine in a London borough with some of the highest infection rates in the country. Health chiefs say they're concerned about the uptake and pace of the rollout in Newham, which is the second largest number of cases in the city. The area is one of the most ethnically diverse in the UK and one of the most deprived. The alarm comes as the Evening Standard reveals an urgent appeal is being made for more vaccines to be sent to London, with the capital losing out under a fair share scheme. Doses are being distributed equally between primary care networks across the country. But because London's population lives more geographically closely together, it means there are fewer vaccines to give to all those due to be inoculated. Mayor Sadiq Khan has written to Boris Johnson. Meanwhile, Health Secretary Matt Hancock's admitted it's impossible to know when lockdown restrictions will be eased. He told Sky News the rules will be in place not a moment longer than is needed, but also as long as necessary. There is some good news, though, with data showing a fall in cases in 14 London boroughs. The biggest drop was in Richmond, which saw a fall of around 20% in the week to January 7th. The largest rise in cases came in Ealing, with a more than 21% jump in the same period. Elsewhere, Education Secretary Gavin Williamson says GCSE and A-level students whose exams have been cancelled may still have to sit externally set papers. He's told the exams watchdog Ofqual he wants to explore the possibility while still saying grades should be based on teacher assessments. A London mayoral candidate called for May's planned election to be delayed because of pandemic restrictions. The Green Sean Berry says it will avoid the need for officials to be diverted from helping with community testing and the vaccine rollout. But former Tory candidate Steve Norris has suggested it be conducted online or by postal vote to avoid another postponement for the ballot that was supposed to be held last year. Donald Trump's YouTube account has been suspended for at least a week in the wake of last week's riot in the US Capitol by a mob of his supporters. It comes after he was permanently suspended from Twitter, with his access to the official president's account blocked for the same reasons. YouTube says it's blocking Mr Trump's account for a minimum of seven days due to concerns about the ongoing potential for violence. And finally, Hayley Bieber's branded cancel culture toxic and says she wished people in the public eye were given space to learn, grow, make mistakes and move on. She's told ES Magazine she had to see a therapist because online bullying had got way too crazy for her.